Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back or to the channel. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna do something that uh, a lot of people will probably disagree with, but I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, probably will do the same thing that I'm about to do or never know. They probably already done it. So if you've done this before, let me know. All right, so as you guys can tell, I got these valve covers. These are stock valve covers. By the way, I'm gonna show you guys the passenger side. You guys see how nice and clean and chrome this one is? Well, as I took it off and hit it up with a wire wheel on a drill and uh, got it super clean. Well, the driver's side, it's not that easy. Uh, you can't take the driver's side off because you have to remove the AC compressor. You have to remove the bracket. You got There's like five or six bolts that you gotta loosen up and then pull this whole thing forward, but you also have to remove the belt. So I was gonna do that because I need to replace the belt anyway, but I'm not trying to do all that because it's just, it's a major job. And if, you know, you strip a bolt or something bad happens, <laughs> It's going to suck. So, um, you guys see this little ear right here? This little piece is causing this valve cover not to come up. When you take all four 10 millimeter bolts out and you lift up on it, this little piece right here, it hits right here. Like you can't even put a finger underneath there. So what I plan on doing is taking this bolt right here completely out. I'm gonna lift this up, try to get this out of the way. And if you guys can tell, you can actually cut this all the way down. So I plan on coming up from here and then going over with it. So filling on it, it's literally just like, just like this. It's not fully all the way, it's not a whole piece. It's just like a little tube. So if I can cut that little tube, then I can pull the valve cover up. All right, I'm gonna get this on video before I go any further and start getting things in the wrong position. All right, so this right here for the fuel canister, it goes up and over and under, just like this, and then comes up and plugs right into that little slot right there. So just pull that up, lay it over. This little plug, it goes up and over. This little plug, it goes up and over the coolant hose and it plugs right into the back of the AC compressor. Already removed the bracket that goes right here. It's this bracket right here. And it is a and it is a half. Alright y'all so I got a file. So this file it's cool because it has the file on all sides so there's literally no way that you can't file something. So what I plan on doing is Probably just gonna go like right here and I'm just gonna file this just like this Dude, I might be able to fucking file this all the way through for real but I'm doing this just to put a groove in it just so that way the uh, the sawzall blade whatever you call it cutoff wheel just so that way the cutoff wheel isn't jumping around and you know but yeah there we go that should be good enough so I'm just gonna cut this all the way down and then all the way across like that. Man, I already know you guys are gonna be hella mad at me. Hella mad at me. But listen, uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys through it. All right, so here's this piece. So I went in right here at the top and I took the little cutoff wheel and got in there as much as I possibly could. I got this shield on and plus I got sunglasses and I had my head back, so safety first guys, for real. And I was taking this, what's it at? This long ass flathead right here and I was taking it in there and I was just like, pushing up on it trying to get all the little pieces out of the way so that way I can fit that file in there and shave it down then I stuck the flathead right here where I already cut at and then it just popped right off <laughs> so yeah there you go this is made out of like some very soft aluminum and uh yeah so oh wow how the hell 
Oh wait, that was the that's the bottom. Okay, so it is a two piece. Okay, so these little these little things. Okay, okay. There we go. Souvenir, anyone? All right. Um, before, yeah, this is coming off. But uh, I want to clean this up, and then I'll take that off. Here we go, guys. Moment y'all been waiting for. Look at that. We can officially remove the driver's side valve cover without removing the AC bracket. Wow, and it fucking stinks. But, hey, it's a success, man. Rather you guys wanna do this or not, it's totally up to you. I would recommend it because, I mean, only thing you really gotta do is just pull out three bolts and then you can remove your, uh, AC compressor after you remove the belt and then boom you can remove the damn valve cover so yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead pull this thing out um, you gotta pick it up over all that crap we'll get to that